Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King, and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, thou hast been magnified exceedingly. Confession and majesty hast thou put on. Who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens as it were a curtain. Who supporteth his chambers in the waters, who appointeth the clouds for his ascent, who walketh upon the wings of the wind who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire, who establisheth the earth in the sureness thereof, it shall not be turned back forever and ever. The abyss like a garment is his mantle upon the mountains, shall the water stand. At their rebuke they will flee at the voice of thy thunder, shall they be afraid. The mountains rise up and the plains sink down unto the place where thou hast established them. Thou appointest a bound that they shall not pass, neither return to cover the earth. He sendeth forth springs in the valleys, between the mountains will the waters run. They shall give drink to the, all the beasts of the field. The wild asses will wait to quench their thirst. Beside them will the birds of the heavens lodge. From the midst of the rocks will they give voice. He watereth the mountains from his chambers. The earth shall be satisfied with the fruit of thy works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and green herb for the service of men. To bring forth bread out of the earth and wine maketh glad the heart of man. To make his face cheerful with oil and bread strengtheneth man's heart. The trees of the plain shall be satisfied. The cedars of Lebanon which thou hast planted. There will the sparrows make their nest, the house of the heron is chief among them. The high mountains are a refuge for the hearts, and so is the rock for the hares. He hath made the moon for seasons, the sun knoweth it is going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there was the night. Wherein all the beasts of the forest will go abroad, young lions roaring after their prey and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth, and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. Man shall go forth unto his work and to his labor until the evening. How magnified are the works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation, so is this great and spacious sea, wherein are things creeping innumerable, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, there this Leviathan, whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait on thee to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away they, thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto their dust shall they return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord will rejoice in his works, who looketh on the earth and maketh it tremble, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life. I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him. I will rejoice in the Lord. Oh, that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. The sun knoweth is going down. Thou appointest the darkness, that there was the night. How magnified are their works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. O our God, and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who with faith, reverence, and the fear of God enter therein, for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priest of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and armed forces everywhere, especially Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Adam, Alex, Will, Skylar, and Madison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have for this city and for every city and land and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, 
for the sick and suffering, especially those suffering from the COVID virus and their families, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, necessity, help us, save us, have mercy upon us, Keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Jesus. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Thou knewest my 
my path. In the way wherein I walked, have they secretly laid a snare for me. I looked on my right hand and beheld, but there was no one that would know me. Refuge failed me, no one cared for my soul. I cried unto thee, O Lord, I said, Thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul to prison, that I may praise thy name. Evening praise and spoken worship do we offer thee, O Christ. For thou didst consent to have mercy upon us by thy resurrection. The righteous shall wait for me until thou recompense me. O Lord, Lord, cast us not from before thy face, but consent to have mercy upon us by thy resurrection. Out of the depths of the cry to thee, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Rejoice, O holy Zion, mother of the churches, the abode of God. For thou didst first receive forgiveness of sins by his resurrection. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Verily the word born of the Father before the ages hath himself been incarnate in these last times by his own will. Of one who knoweth not wedlock, he did suffer crucifixion and death, and by his resurrection he hath saved man dead of old. If thou, O Lord, should mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? For with thee there is forgiveness. Let us glorify thy resurrection from the dead, O Christ, by which thou didst free the race of Adam from the invasion of Hades. And since thou art God, thou hast granted the world eternal life and the great mercy. Because of thy name have I waited for thee, O Lord, my soul hath waited upon thy word, my soul hath hoped in the Lord. Glory to thee, O Christ, Savior, only Son of God, who was nailed upon the cross, and who didst rise from the tomb on the third day. As the spirits orators, the sacred blessed disciples, who became the instruments of the Spirit through their faith, scattered far and wide to the earth's farthest parts, as in orthodoxy they saw the preaching from on high, whence richly sprouted forth by the grace of God and his husbandry, the martyrs' holy companies, which showed forth in image the venerable passion of the Savior, through every kind of torture, scourge, and fire. And now with boldness they intercede with him in our soul's behalf. For with the Lord there is mercy, and with him is abundant redemption. And he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. With the fire of love for God were the august martyrs kindled. Wherefore they set a fire not, and as coals of fire divine hotly set ablaze. They in Christ burnt away all the withered brushwood, all vain errors vaunting insolence. They stopped the mouth of bees with wise invocations in earnest prayer. And when their heads had been cut off, they cut down the ranks of the enemy. And when they had poured out their blood in mighty fountains valiantly, they fully watered the holy church, and she blossomed forth by faith. Praise the Lord, all ye nations, praise him, all ye people, wrestling with ferocious beasts, beaten with swords and with cudgels, scraped and torn with iron claws, having both their hands caught off, tortured on the rack, being burnt in the fire, in unyielding torments, being filled with sharp and stabbing wounds, having their joints cut up, the unbending martyrs endure them all, 
with great exceeding steadfastness, looking to the portion that is to come with the crowns unfading, and that unending glory of Christ God, with whom we boldly now intercede, praying in our soul's behalf. For his mercy is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endureth forever. As is due, let us extol with sacred songs the apostles, martyrs, godly minded priests, women chaste and venerable, that whole sacred throng who throughout all the earth struggled for the faith's sake. For while being mortals born of earth, they were made one and joined to those in the heavens eternally, and through their passion they obtained coveted the special by gift of Christ. Now like constellations, the steadfast martyrs encompass us with light, as with great boldness they intercede, praying in our soul's behalf. on earth.
Thus saith the Lord, all nations are gathered together, and princes shall be gathered out of them. Who will declare these things among them, or who will declare to you the things from the beginning? Let them bring forth their witnesses and be justified, and let them hear and declare the truth. Be ye my witnesses, and I too am a witness, saith the Lord God, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am. Before me there was no other God, and after me there shall be none. I am God, and beside me there is no Savior. I have declared and have saved. I have reproached, and there was no strange God among you. Ye are my witnesses, and I am a witness, saith the Lord God. Even from the beginning I am, and there is none that can deliver out of my hands. I will work, and who will turn it back? Thus saith the Lord God that redeemed you, the Holy One of Israel. The reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. There shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise they seem to die, and their departure is taken for misery, and their going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded, for God proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them, and received them as a burnt offering, and the sparks among the stubble. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and, sh and as such be faithful in love, and as such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is in his saints, and visitation among his elect. Wisdom. The reading from the Wisdom of Solomon. The righteous live forever, and their reward is in the Lord, and the care of them is the Most High. Therefore shall they receive the kingdom of majesty and the crown of comeliness from the Lord's hand. For with his right hand shall he cover them, and with his arm shall he protect them. He shall take to him his jealousy for complete armor, and make creation his weapon for the warding off of his enemies. He shall put on righteousness as a breastplate, and true judgment instead of a helmet. He shall take holiness from an invisible shield. His severe wrath shall he sharpen for a sword, and the world shall fight with him against the unwise. 
Then shall the right aiming thunderbolts go abroad, and from the clouds, as, well, as from a well-drawn bow, shall they fly to the mark. And as from a sto stone bow shall hailstones full of wrath be cast forth, and the water of the sea shall rage indignantly against them, and the flood shall cruelly drown them. Yea, a mighty wind shall stand up against them, and like a storm shall blow them away. Thus iniquity shall lay waste the whole earth, and ill dealings shall overthrow the thrones of the mighty. Hear therefore, O ye kings, and understand. Learn ye that, that be judges of the ends of the earth. Give ear, ye that rule a multitude, and vaunt yourselves in throngs of nations. For power is given you from the Lord, and sovereignty from the Most High. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord have mercy. And we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians, for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for our brethren, the priest deacons and monks, for all our brethren in Christ. Lord have, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. And we pray for the blessed and ever memorable founders of this holy church, for all our fathers and brethren, the orthodox departed this life before us who hear, and in all the world let us sleep in the Lord. Lord And we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation, and pardon and remission of sins for the servants of God, all Orthodox Christians of true worship who live and dwell in this community. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bear fruit and do good works in this holy and all venerable church, for those who serve and those who sing, for all the people here present toward their great and rich mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this evening without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name forever. Amen. Let thy mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, o Master, make me to understand thy statutes. Blessed art thou, o Holy One, enlighten me with thy statutes. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, but despise not the works of thy hands. To thee belongeth worship, to thee belongeth praise, to thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, Keep us, O God, by thy grace, Lord, have mercy. that the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord, this, o Lord, pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. All in your remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To and come down for the salvation of mankind. Look upon thy servants and thine inheritance. For unto thee the fearful judge, who yet lovest mankind, have thy servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but entreating thy mercy and looking confidently for thy salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil imaginations. Blessed and glorified be the might of thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The distance and the cross of Jesus, who didst he send from heaven? Thou didst come to death a life that dieth not, and to those who are in darkness, O true light, and to the fallen, O resurrection of all. Wherefore, O our Lord and Savior, glory be to thee. The Lord is King and hath clothed himself with majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girded with strength. Let us glorify Christ, risen from the dead, for he did take unto himself a soul and a body, and he separated one from the other in the passion, when his pure soul went down to Hades, which he led captive. And the whole body saw no corruption in the grave, the body of the Redeemer, Savior of our souls. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. With psalms and with songs of praise, O Christ, do we glorify thy resurrection from the dead by which thou didst deliver us from the rebellion of Hades. And since thou art God, thou didst grant us eternal life and the great mercy. Holiness befits thy house, O Lord, forevermore. O Lord of all, O incomprehensible one, O maker of heaven and earth, when thou didst suffer in thy passion on the cross, thou didst pour up for me passionlessness. And when thou didst submit to burial and its rising glory, thou didst raise Adam with thee by a mighty hand. Wherefore, glory to thy third day resurrection, by which thou didst grant us eternal life and forgiveness of sins, for thou alone art compassionate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the
the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. From the heights of this descend, O compassionate one, and all did submit to the three-day burial. That thou might deliver us from passion, thou art our life and our resurrection, O Lord, glory to thee. But glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, thy church, O Christ God, hath regaled herself in the blood of the martyrs throughout the entire world as in porphyry and purple through them she lifted her voice crying turn with thy compassion toward thy people and grant peace to thy city and to our souls the great mercy both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The mystery which was hidden from everlasting and was unknown of the angels, O Theotokos, was revealed to thee, to those who dwell upon earth. In thy God having become incarnate in a confused 
our God, the existing one is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy word that has made the birth of Christians unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond the name of the seraphim, long without corruption, Mary saw. Father's Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. 